hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. We of the Sutcliffe Museum know that the artifacts we hold are a sacred trust. They belong to all mankind, and changing times insists that they be returned to their rightful owners. Such is the case with the Brahova Triptych. Priceless in value, yet equally prized by those to whom it is not just another work of art, but the symbol of the Brokovian nation. Tonight, I present it to Mr. Milos Jansman, one of the heroes of the democratic revolution, a man whose underground writings became a beacon of truth to those who were trapped under communist oppression. To him, I entrust this triptych. Thank you, Lord Sutcliffe. I want you to know that the hearts of the Brakovian people go out to you for what you have done today. The Prahova triptych with its three panels representing God, freedom and humanity used to be present at the coronation of our royalty. Now it will return to take its place as a symbol in our chamber of deputies of our heritage, and I hope our even greater future. <laughs> Throughout that future, your name will be remembered for its repatriation. I thank you. Mr. McQueen, if you would be so kind. Proper channels? Since when have our dealings had anything to do with proper channels? Alexander, believe me, it's being handled. Yes, but it's being handled as if it was only a simple art theft. How many times must I tell you? Until I get Scotland Yard's full report, Alex, it may be just a simple art theft. You know, over the years I've come across most of your faults. Naivety was never one of them. Meaning? The Prauva is not just a work of art. It's the very heart of Brakovia. They've been trying to get it back for the last two centuries. There's nothing in the status reports to suggest trouble brewing at Brakovia. Now, who cares about status reports? The old regime is barely out of power. If Milos fails to bring back the triptych, it'll help give his enemies all the ammunition they need to bring down the government. 
You're blowing this out of all proportion because Milos is your friend. The fact that Milos is my friend is immaterial. I happen to believe in what he's doing for his people. And the Prauva is a symbol of national unity. I mean, something to rally around. A piece of art can be all that. Yes. You know, you may have developed a streak of naivety, my friend. But you should be wise enough not to try to make me change my mind. I'll find out what I can, Alex. Yeah, you do that. And remember, art is long, time is fleeting. The Prahova triptych with its three panels representing God, freedom, and humanity was traditionally present at the coronation of our royal. You get me, Mr. Sinclair. Now it will return. Come on, he's not even shooting at you. Give the guy a break, Luke. It was probably his first firefight. 20 minutes out of London, folks. Anybody for coffee? Thank you, JJ. Sorry, Peter. It's decaf. JJ, the whole point of the coffee is the caffeine. Well, I guess you just have to settle for a sugar rush instead. It's just as healthy. Hmm. I want you to know that the hearts of the Brakovian people go out to you for... for You're really not going to drink that. Carrot juice and weed oil. Have you been pinned in the jungle sucking swamp water? You get a little particular about what you drink. If I ever got particular, I would not be drinking that stuff. Shouldn't she be up front doing something? This baby's so slick, she could probably land herself. Just a favor, JJ. Let's not find out. Away. Check it out. Look at this. Who's the MR60s? Satellite. And whoever these guys are, they got the latest. Peter, satellite link. Hey, you little cutie. That chair looks good on you. Dad says you have to move fast. He took the first flight out to London. It looks like this is really important to him. Milos is an old friend. It was my father who got his writings published in the free world. Susie, does Scotland Yard's art theft unit have anything on this? Nothing. Except the icon is worth 13 million pounds. Pretty good when you figure it in real money. Luke, you don't figure art in money, real or otherwise. Something like the Prahova is absolutely priceless. Everything and everybody's got a price, Petey. Do you have a starting point? Yes. First, we have to establish if there's a market. Could you dig me up a list of prospective buyers? Okay. You will rendezvous with Dad and Milos after you land. Yeah, could you uh, ask them to get some decent coffee? British coffee? Yes, you're right. You've got a point. Forget it. Out. Out. Driver driven any slower as you're going backwards. Traffic was bumper to bumper. How do you suggest he got us here faster? There's shortcuts. What do you think it's sidewalks are for? The terrifying thing is, it means it. Here we go. Ah, Nicole Beaumont, Peter Sinclair, Luke Brenham, my old friend. Milos Janssen. It's a pleasure to meet you. I've read many of your essays. I'm glad to hear that the issues of our country are of interest to a very beautiful young Francaise. Freedom and justice is good reading in any culture, Monsieur Janssen. Please, just call me Milos. Freedom and justice are what the Prahova means to my people. It was being returned because the free countries of the world believe that we are now capable of governing ourselves. And it was my responsibility to make sure it happened. And the museum was willing to help you do that? Lord Sutcliffe served with the SAS when my country was liberated during the last war. He has always been a friend of freedom. Yes, well, now the first order of business, of course, is a contact Interpol. Well, I've already logged into their database, sir, and they're clearing operatives who could handle something of this game. Yes, you don't think too much of that idea, sir. 
the more official agencies are involved, the worse it reflects on my government. Don't worry, sir. We won't let that happen. Well, while Peter is uh, checking up on the museum, Nicky, you and Luke are going to pay a visit to some old friends in the art world. And what are our chances? Huh? Who's this group? Well, they can do a lot, a lot of things that your official agencies can't. If it's around, we'll find it. Won't we? We shall. Thanks, Chief. Yes, sir. Jeez, I'm really gonna miss visiting the museum. That's what I love about you, Luke, is your insatiable appetite for knowledge. Luke is known for his insatiable appetite. <laughs> Alex, I've come too far. My people have come too far to be frustrated now. Oh, keep faith, old friend, keep faith. I sometimes wonder how you can speak of faith after the loss of your wife. You know, it's a funny thing. Faith was never an issue until Chantal was taken. Now it seems I have very little else. Alex, thank you for helping. Oh, well, it's not going to be as easy as finding you a publisher. <laughs> but you and I haven't come this far for nothing. Have we? Don't score any points staying between the lines. How many more of these places do we have to visit? I can only take so much of this culture in one day. There's just a few more places to check. The next guy is an art restorer I used to deal with. Restore? He restores art into other people's collections and also dabbles in forgery. If you stole the Mona Lisa, this guy could find you a buyer. Well, knowing you, you probably tried. since I've had goods like yours in here. They don't do good anymore. For him? Something like that. I think he tells me you're an art expert. No percentage in it anymore. It's a world of conspicuous consumption. People don't pay for things that they can't show off. Things like the uh, Prohova Triptych. I thought you said you were out of the business, Nicky. I'm out of the selling business. Not the buy. You must have saved your pennies, Nicky. That would be a very pricey acquisition. How pricey? Out of my league. I thought you played in a pretty competitive league. Times change. The business changes. Interpol's efficiency has destroyed the free agent market. Whoever took the Prahova already had their buyer lined up. No middlemen. Well, what is... Someone were to, uh, well, break it up. I mean, the gold, the jewels, they must be worth something. With a piece like the Prahova, the panels don't hold much gold. The gems would be very low grade. Broken, it would be worth less than they spent on the bullets. But perhaps I can interest you in something a little more modest. something. The man said I was out of his league. It's what he didn't say that bothered me. Oh, so you think he knows where it is? Or he knows someone who knows. All right, we'll call Peter. We'll keep an eye on him. We'll see how nervous we made your friend. The Sutcliffe's have always lived here. The museum was a means of um, keeping the house in the family. I see. Oh, excuse me. Have a little look. Mr. Barton, you said you were doing a story on the theft. Uh, 
I'm sure Lord Sutcliffe would prefer that his private life remain just that, private. The thieves never set foot in his lordship's room. Yes, but uh, we reporters like to snoop. <laughs> and as you know, my editor is a very, very close personal friend of his lordship's. Well, that's the only reason you're here in the first place, isn't it? <laughs> we'll never get the public back if I have to let every snoop who comes along disrupt the museum. But can you really blame us, Mr. McQueen? I mean, after all, a priceless work of art has been stolen from what is reputed to be one of the safest museums in Britain. Oh, not reputed to be, Mr. Oh, Adams. That's exactly my point, Mr. McQueen. Exactly my point. You see, somebody is at fault here. And sooner or later, that somebody will be found out. Yes, well, this interview is over. Well, I have everything I need. Oh, one last question, Mr. McQueen. Who at Scotland Yard is handling the case? Inspector Luther. Lord Sutcliffe has complete confidence in him and the Yard. As indeed we do, Mr. McQueen. As we do. Uh, thank you for your time. Good day to you. If I know we're going to spend the night together, I would have bought a bottle of wine. Romantic rendezvous in cars have never interested me. You just name the time and the place, I'll be there. Company. How much do they know? I've survived in this business by being a very bad conversationalist. But if he's half as smart as she is, it won't be long before they're on to us. No, you read it this? Oh, well, he will when he gets the bill. Discretion was always an admirable characteristic, Max. Someone went in a few minutes ago. Yeah, the guy looked real edgy. I'll bet it's when I read his playmates. Okay. Sounds like it's time to go shopping. Sutcliffe's very own man. Yeah, it smelled like an inside job from the beginning. It all went off far too smoothly. Yeah, that still leaves us with some big questions about Reddy, though. Yeah, like what? Like what was his part in this? Did he move the triptych for them? Maybe. On the other hand, maybe he just had to prove that it was the real McCoy. No, no, no. Serious buyer would know that from the start. Man, you know, these guys make snakes look warm-blooded. I mean, first they kill Reddy to shut him up, and then they off their pal McQueen. Well, you know, the game sport, the man became a liability. Uh, if they were so worried about exposure, they wouldn't have stolen this thing on live TV. Now, McQueen was in on it. He could have taken it any time. I guess he could. Oh, don't guess. These guys were shooters, and uh, England's a tough country to find those kind of weapons. Oh, I'm sure you could find a gun at the North Pole. No, I meant an ordinary guy. Come on, where are you heading? I'm going to Soho. I'll drop you off. The guy I'm seeing hates crowds. Sir, I know the cop who's handling the case, and Inspector Luther. I think I'll just pop in and have a word. Cheers. Cheers. Nicaragua. 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 N
Yeah. You can beat them. Might as well take some money from them, huh? They're bad. Listen, do you hear anything about some guys making money moving out? I don't move in that crowd. This is my kind of art, man. Thank you very much. Just we'll talk a little later. Listen, these guys are military, Roberto. They're moving like an SAS or something. Guys who train together. Look, man, I don't move in those circles no more either, okay? No. I know you don't. I know you don't. I was just thinking maybe they were moving in your circles. Maybe they came in here, had one too many, said something to one of the girls. Huh? <clears throat> Listen, there's more where that came from. Check it out for me, Roberto. I'll be back. Hey, man. You know my weakness, huh? You'll never change. The car parked outside Retty's was rented to McQueen. McQueen's friends have got expensive tastes. Oh, McQueen, too. Of course, that, uh, that triptych thing would be a healthy bonus to someone on a security guard's way. Or uh, an aging inspector, for that matter. You want another, don't you? How about I kill for a cup of coffee? Well, here, it's the coffee that kills. All right, then I'll have them. Albert, too. You know... Anybody stealing that damn thing doesn't make much sense. No, if there was any real money in art theft, well, most of the museums wouldn't be able to afford the insurance premiums, would they? So, what's your guess? Ransom. With revenge in mind. Revenge? Yeah. Someone who has it in for the new Brokovian government. Well, things are changing in the East. Today's enemy, tomorrow's ally. New lines are being drawn. Well, as I understand it, it took the whole British government to persuade Lord Charles Sutcliffe to hand it over. That's very interesting. If I was a British lord, forced to open my baronial manor to the public, just to stay afloat, the last thing I'd do would be to get rid of my most priceless asset. That sounds dangerously close to a suspicion that Lord Charles is involved. Well, let's put it down to my suspicious nature. I was a cop too long not to suspect everybody. Well, I don't suspect Lord Charles. The Queen was his right-hand man. And a very close friend. And dead. But then, as you say, this stage it could be almost anybody. I hope only McQueen is involved. Can't afford an international incident right now. You never can. Doesn't mean they don't happen, though. Good luck. Cheers. And in 1922, the acquisition of Vincenzo Doriano's The Mourner was to provide the Sutcliffe Gallery with what was to become the centerpiece of its sculpture collection. Although it was long held that the mourner was in fact the work of Pietro Benedetto, a student of Doriano's, in the late 1800s, information came to light from Doriano's notebooks and working drawings which authenticated the piece's Doriano's own work. Notice, if you will, the positioning of the notes. Doriano's belief was that at every angle the piece must appear to be in purposeful motion. In the mourner, this motion augments the emotional impact of the piece. That you must truly feel the anguish of the grieving woman. Doriano's notebooks make reference to Signora Rotomi, who is the model of the piece, both physically and in the inspiration. Signora Rotondo had lost her husband, Claudio, just three weeks before Doriano began work. And over here we have La Sylphide. La Sylphide was discovered in 1912. It was first displayed in 1913 and disappeared. Uh, you'll have to follow, sir. Uh, just a second, please. and languished in private collections in the vicinity of Verona for the next hundred years. Lord Francis Sutcliffe, who made the original discovery of the Nobles, devoted over 20 years to finding and securing the piece for his private collection. Uh, you'll have to follow, sir. Sorry? Those were his lordship's private living quarters. Uh, I bet they're gorgeous inside. Um, would it be possible to arrange a private viewing of them, do you think? Or? I'm afraid that's out of the question, sir. That's a pity. 
Thank you. Jansen. I'd like to know what you have in the package, if you don't mind. Well, I shall have to insist. I mean it, I wouldn't say it if I didn't. Yes, well, I'm glad you understand that. Uh, I'll get back to you. What are you doing here, Sinclair? Just visiting a friend, Inspector. I don't know your connection to this, but for your sake, I hope you're not involved. Well, if you intend to press charges against Mr. Janssen, yes, most definitely I am involved. Well, perhaps you don't understand the gravity of the situation. He's been found red-handed with the triptych. I was told to go there. How many times do I have to say that? Come on, it's obviously a setup. Oh, really? I took it right out of his hands. The communists would love nothing better than to destroy the hero of the revolution. And why didn't he call us when he was told where to pick it up? I have told you. The instructions were clear. Come alone, tell no one we will be watching. Of course he would have told you. Or oh, when? After you'd flown him out of the country, I suppose. Ah. He gets an anonymous phone call telling him to pick up the triptych. And you get an anonymous phone call telling you to pick up Mr. Janssen. I mean, two and two, Inspector. If you're not a cop anymore, Sinclair. I still am. I want you to stay out of this. Watch him be charged with theft and homicide. Oh, under diplomatic law, we can't charge him with anything. He'll be declared persona non grata, booted out of the country. Yeah, well, I'm sure there are some people who would have something to say about that. Ah. So I can assume that you were somehow involved with the political mechanisms that are being geared up for Milosh's defense, huh? Uh, assumptions are very, very dangerous. Oh, aren't they, though? Unfortunately, by tomorrow morning, the press will have their teeth into this. Didn't you know that even the royal family can't stop the British press? If you break this to the press, it will absolutely ruin everything that he's done. Hmm. Well, that's not my decision. No. Never is, is it? Don't bang the door on your way out. Don't worry, sir. Thank you, my friend, but I'm afraid they have won. No. No, just remember, no one ever wins until you let them. I wouldn't fudge either. Oh, come on, Peter. Even you can't be that violent. Look, no better. Look, take a seat. I'm gonna go talk to my man. The whole thing still doesn't make any kind of sense. The Queen's on the payroll. Why the fireworks? Maybe McQueen can get to it after hours. The security system is under timer. It's all rigged to pressure plates and motion detectors on the floor. It was the only time they could get to it. With the whole world watching. Yeah, I guess that was an important part of their plan. Do it with the video cameras running. The more publicity attached to the heist, the more publicity attached to Milos when he's arrested. Yeah, I suppose it makes sense. What you've got worth 500 pounds. Listen to this. A couple of days before the robbery, one of his Syrian friends sold enough arms to help with a four-man assault team. Kobe. 
He didn't have a name, just an address. Where? A dock on the Thames. Okay, come on. That's what I How did he do that, Luke? Well, if you want some lessons, we can talk about it. I guess nobody's all bad. Anybody recognize the language? It's all Greek to me. He's pretty sure those aren't terms of endearment. Feel like going for a late night cruise? I think we owe it ourselves. Inspector. Those guys were Brakovian nationals. You can bet your life they weren't here on vacation. Oh, yes, foreign agents, plots, mysterious documents. Oh. Well, can you think of a better way of disrupting the transfer of the triptych and discrediting Mr. Janssen and his government at the same time? Where do you think you are, lad? In a spy movie? Sir, do those say what I think they do? It's a complete description of the triptych. Very detailed. All the dimensions, the weight of the jewels, the weight of the gold. What on earth would they want that kind of information for? Well, maybe they wouldn't. What the hell are you doing, you bloody madman? That's a priceless work of art. 
Not quite, Inspector. You see, when the first Christians settled in Brokovia, the one thing they didn't have was plywood. So, this is obviously how Retty fits into the equation. These photos and notes are quite clearly a blueprint for forging the triptych. That's why Retty and McQueen had to die. They both of them could have blown the scam. You're really stuck on this idea that McQueen was working for these people and kept feeding them information, aren't you? Me? Maybe on the other hand, it was his boss. Peter, what are you saying? There's absolutely nothing in McQueen's background to suggest that he had any connections whatsoever with the communists. Nor indeed the expertise to produce these kind of incredibly detailed plans. Oh, bloody hell. You can't send me off to Lord Charles Sutcliffe without something a lot more substantial than that. Lord Charles Sutcliffe, on the other hand, had long-standing connections with Prokofiev. Mr. Janssen's government was offering no more for the triptych than the grateful thanks of the nation. A long way short of 13 million pounds. His enemies, perhaps, were going to offer Lord Sutcliffe something considerably more attractive. It's all circumstantial, then. But at least you can ask some questions. Yes, you can go home. We'll take care of this now in our own if way. If you leave this as late as the morning, the damage will be done. Oh, yes, pull respectable people out of their beds in the middle well, of the you're night. dealing with respectable people. Do you really think that I could convince any magistrate to grant me a search warrant of his lordship's home? I can't go after him without substantial proof that a crime has been committed. Yes, sir. We're set up to do it tonight. Will you have Luther's cooperation? Cooperation is stretching it. Let's rock and roll, Peter. Look, Alex, you must realize that what we're doing could be considered to be crossing the line. People we're dealing with have already crossed it. That's why we're here. The laws of break and entry do not take that into consideration. I didn't hire you to quote law books to me, Peter. I hired you to do a job. This is not a one-man operation. Freeze. All clear. What are you doing? This is the museum in here. This woman's intuition again. Got it. You're unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look, is there? I sure can't see anything. You're not supposed to. Well, where is it then? Well, you're not going to look. Plain sight. Pretty 
face. Peter, I'm going in. Yeah, okay, Nikki. You'll stay in touch. And watch those alarms. Right. Watching the alarms is easy. Keeping them quiet, but that's the problem. is always much more civilized that way. God, you're here, Inspector. I wouldn't thank anybody just yet if I were you. You can't be serious. I'm afraid that makes the whole thing very serious. Oh, Lord. It would be very nice if someone would just explain to me what the hell happened. Inspector, I think you owe me breakfast. Spectacular, isn't it? There's a lot of people getting worked up over a painting. It's much more than a painting. And now it's back where it belongs. That means a very great deal. What about Milosha's enemies? A Luther arresting Sufflitz and his pals should take care of them. If we are so interested in freedom, why is it that some of us still get stuck serving coffee? Because you are so darn good at it, JJ. Except. 
Do you really believe that Sutcliffe's involvement with the hardliners will ever come out? I doubt it. It's just so much loss of face the period is intolerable. The important thing is that Milos has been killed. Oh, JJ. This is instant. Hey, you can't have everything. Why should we think that having an old family name exempts us from our weaknesses? Pride and greed are as common in princes as they are in paupers. For heaven's sake.